I think it's very and perception. And it's very difficult to um, uh, create a work. I think that that successfully um, has the idea embedded in the image. Um, and you know, we've talked we've talked before about illustration mm -hmm. and and this thing about uh, a painting just um, illustrating illustrating an idea. So the idea exists somewhere else, and there's a painting which which just refers back to this idea floating off in separate space. Um, and I think, that's, I think that's actually quite a valid thing to do and quite an interesting thing to do with, with painting, potentially. If it's a good idea, then mm. having an illustration of it could still make a good painting. But to actually have the painting um, really a great work of art, yeah, the idea should be also in the image itself. What, 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 what is nice with image, I think, is that you can... You can um, mix a lot of ideas in one image, mm. so there is something who can. It's like a big, a big bowl of uh, treasure, treasure, mm -hmm. and that's true that um, uh, when you speak about illustration, everyone is saying that illustration is bad. Art. It's not art; it's illustration. Mm. But actually, nowadays, uh, everything can be art anyway. Mm. So why not illustration or that kind of uh, uh, aesthetic? Yeah, I mean, and I also believe that uh, a piece of art embodied an idea. Uh, anyway, I mean, a sculpture, uh, even a painting, mm. not made like like an illustration or something less narrative or mm. or less uh, well painted. Mm -hmm. uh, this is anyway something who who have. Mm. An idea inside the piece, and that you. So I, quite, I quite like uh, Keith Tyson uh, had a nice analogy for that, where he said, "It's if you if you make a um, a particle accelerator, the idea of the particle accelerator is not just to demonstrate uh, you know demonstrate what you already know what happens when you know you smash particles together. It's not just a demonstration of that um, process and what's already known. It's to actually discover new knowledge by." Creating those circumstances mm -hmm. and, and observing what happens, he says it's a similar it's a similar thing in art. It's not just about saying I already know that these two ideas go together and produce mm -hmm. this effect. It's about chucking those ideas together and then observing what what happens as they and take the further step after that. Then you learn from that and yeah, and then that's all the the, the nice thing to be <laughs> to be an artist. Yeah, is that yeah the, that there is, is so thing. yeah you there is this unknown who are mm -hmm. always. There, even if the, the image is, uh, if there is some, even if there is something really known, you can you can use other parts who are really mm -hmm. that that you will mess with. I, I mean, I mean, mm. in a certain moment in Europe, uh, five years ago, when you were uh, painting or painting image, it was mm -hmm. really like uh, hell. Mm -hmm. I mean, you no way to do that, and. Uh, Lately, uh, it's coming back. Yeah. Image. Uh, sometimes very bad. Sometimes very good. It's quite refreshing that the, this question is coming. It is coming. good. It, it's actually, I think, a challenge for a challenge for painters working with working with imagery, because um, you know it's only been, as you say, it's only been a few years that it's really been, you know, back in the mainstream, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Um, and we yet to properly build up, I think, um, you know, the, the lexicon. You know, it's very, it's very, very difficult to um, read images now and, and understand, you know, in, in any sophisticated way, what's actually being meant. Um, you know, at the training for, you know, for me through the through the uh, the nineteen nineties was, you know, all critical theory. You know, mm. it's, it's all about it's all about text and you know theories of negation and things like that. It's uh, you know, maybe some phenomenology if I was uh, if I was lucky, but uh, woo. <laughs> but uh, you know, yeah, actually, actually going in and thinking about um, metaphor mm -hmm. wasn't something that uh, that I would have no. would have taken seriously. No, it was even you had a gun there. Yeah. When you were, you were trying to speak about that, or yeah. I, did you did you find that were you uh, were you discouraged during your during your your training from 
making images? Actually not because I was in a really bad school and we were allowed to paint and paint image. Actually it was not really, I had no training at all, I mean conceptually. Then, um, then I just did, did what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. And it, it came from making very, I had this idea that I wanted to be, uh, to be Velasquez or Rembrandt. <laughs> so I, I made my study to go to, to look at that and yeah. to try to understand what, what was um, in technical, uh, what, what the problem is, the drawing, all those things. Mm -hmm. But at the end, uh, when, when you see those paintings, it's far beyond um, a question of technique or... Those guys in particular, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, Velasquez and, uh, yeah, and Rembrandt. I think one of the things that influenced me was probably um, the way that some of my, my friends worked, the, the kind of um, paintings, basically, that they were, that they were making. There's a, um, a few guys that, uh, that I kind of knew while I was studying, and I was very impressed by, it, by what they did. It was like Juan Ford and Tony Lloyd and Darren Wardle. Um, some of them you met, you know, the other day at, uh, at that show. Um, but these are all guys who are producing paintings with, a, with imagery with a very high level of, of technical skill. Mm. Uh, and I was, I was pretty impressed. And that strongly influenced what, you know, what I, what I, then, what I then wanted to do. Did you, <coughs> I mean, what about your, what about your kind of your, your artistic peers? Is, is that sort of, are you, are you part of a group of people who are, painting or are you kind of just out there by yourself? Um, I think I was quite alone. I, I met some guys in, in the middle, like around 18, uh, who impressed me. But I'm the only one who's, who's, who's doing, that I know while making painting uh, with some skill. Or mm. What I like with skills is that it produces um, a certain kind of emotion. And I really like to use that, that kind of emotion to, to bring something else again. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, something very specific, I think. When you see, it's a, it's a, it's a jail also to be, to be, to, to paint. Well, it, that can be a big problem to paint with a lot of uh, maestro or to be good good mm -hmm. but um, it I, I it's like five years ago it was well no, it's, it's like during 15 years I was like well should I try to paint badly should I try to which way should I paint and because to paint well or this idea of painting well was really really you mm -hmm. shouldn't do that since I I was at 14 in a in an art school, and the, the first week they said, "Yeah, okay, you are gifted, but uh, that's about something else." Mm. Yeah, I know that it's very large, but uh, uh, I think it can be a good tool. You know, if if you have a good printer, it can be interesting also than just a black and white photocop photocopy machine. You know? Yeah. So you, whatever you, whatever you have. Is the way you are using it to yeah, look quality, can or yeah, not? Quality, quality has a certain appeal in, in whatever you're, whatever you're looking at. 